Hello, Quincy. Uh, my name is Eileen Fontenot, and I'm a librarian at the Thomas Crane Library. And today I'm with Brian Donahue, a Quincy native who's worked in Hollywood for more than 20 years as a stuntman and actor. He's the subject of a documentary called The Guy, The Brian Donahue Story, which won um, at the Audience Award for the Best Short Documentary at this year's Independent Film Festival here in Boston. Uh, at 7 p.m., Monday, September 23rd, we'll welcome him to the main library, and we'll also be screening the documentary. The director of the short um, documentary, E.J. McLevy Fisher, will also be there via video yes. chat. So, welcome, Brian. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, Quincy. How are you? My hometown. My yeah. pride and joy. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for um, taking the time with us today. I hear you're um, busy, busy with your work today, but thank you for we're stopping We're doing, we, yeah, we're in the middle of, um, we're, we're, this week we're on uh, Blacklist down oh. here with James Spader and oh. here in New York City. And um, then, then um, who knows what the next week will bring. We'll just go with it. As it comes, we'll flow with it. Yeah, we'll go with it. So but I've been here right now, but it's a pleasure. I wish I could be with you in person up mm -hmm. there in studio, but I will have the honor and the privilege of being with you guys, like you said, on uh, the 23rd of September. Mm -hmm. And that's very mm -hmm. exciting and, and really thrilled. And I'm going to be honest with you, it warms my heart to, to have to um, – I get choked up a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that's so come back home is always a good thing. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, um, my mom had died just a year and a half ago, oh, yeah. and uh, she never got to see the documentary and such. She lived it. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you're stupid. You lived it. I lived it. I don't need to see it. I don't but need anyway, to see it. Uh, but I've got a lot of family up there. Mm -hmm. I've got my uh, two brothers up there, Jack and Fred, my sister Joyce, and uh, my sister Marilyn's right up just north in New Hampshire. And, and just, just, my aunts and uncles. There's a lot of people in the area, in your area now, that are still there holding the homestead down and and uh, 98 California Ave in West Quincy at the foot of the granite quarries. And, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. I ramble sometimes. That's all right. That's great. Well, I, I watched the documentary this morning. And, um, and what did you think? I loved it. I was amazed. Great. You're like a renaissance <laughs> man, really. You know, you, wow. you do... You did like football. You did, yeah. you know, the Disney stunt man um, thing. You were the Dublin destroyer. That's wild. Correct, yes. Um, yes, um, yes. You must be exhausted. <laughs> you know what? It, it's been a run, but it, you know, mm -hmm. some of these things. It, it feels like it was just yesterday, mm -hmm. and then you go, you make the mistake of counting back on the years. Usually, I miss by ten years. I think, oh, that was like twenty something years ago. No, that was thirty something years ago. <laughs> but Walt Disney World and the NFL and. Uh, WWF is mm -hmm. the Dublin Destroyer touring the country with them in um, Canada and Mexico, the whole thing. And um, I started, though, I go, always go back to my roots, which is Quincy, and I go back to ones that I was a Quincy elk. And I remember being in camp, just to show you the transitions, mm -hmm. oh. in camp with Mark Gastineau and Joe Klecko with the New York Jets in 1986. And they said, are you nervous, Rook? Are you nervous? <laughs> I said, Quincy elk. <laughs> Back off. No and some other choice about, words, right? <laughs> but anyway, we just, we just did a, um, a film festival down in uh, Rhode Island, Flickers, uh, the mm -hmm. Rhode Island International Film Festival. And a gentleman had a film, and it was fabulous. It was a long-form documentary, and it was about divine providence, about about the city rebuilding and coming up again and, and just coming back to its its glory days and the landmark buildings being restructured and fixed and repurposed. And he said that most of these um, buildings were built with Quincy granite. And I got up there on the question and answer, and I said, so was I. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Quincy granite. I said, it doesn't come, they don't come tougher, and they don't come more sweet and compassionate than the people of Quincy and the whole New England area. Yeah. So we're really excited. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. That's I know. great. <laughs> Sometimes I won't answer your question directly. <laughs> You're just gonna, that's fine. I no I problem. Go, and I'll my wife leave. tells me, reel it in, reel it in, yeah. reel it in. <laughs> so what, how did you get to the road you're on now? Like, how did you end up in stunt work? And now well, really acting too, right? Okay, actually, I come from a sports background. Like I said, I come out of Archbishop Williams and uh, up at Braintree. Mm -hmm. And I was a football player, shot putter. And then I, I went on um, uh, to the University of Texas from Exeter Academy up mm -hmm. in New Hampshire. I went to prep school for a year. I was a postgrad. Went to – I got recruited all over the country in football and track, and I ended up going down to uh, Texas. And 
I, I ended up like going back and forth between football and track. Mm-hmm. Um, I ended up signing with the New York Jets in uh, 1986. But prior to that, I got back to track. I'm sorry, I went back to track <laughs> with the Clario with the Olympic Committee. So I was real good in track, real good in football, mm-hmm. and I just kept jumping back and forth. And it was just the way I piloted one thing into another. But mm-hmm. with the sports background, when I finished up, okay, when I finished up up in um, up in Canada with football with the Toronto Argonauts, I ended up um, getting in getting in with some people that were involved with WWF and such. Mm-hmm. Trained, got into that, but I. Had, then at that time, I was always overlapping, mm-hmm. and so I ended up going and, and doing doing um, some commercial work, small parts on films, you know, little TV bits, you know, little mm-hmm. little bits of action. I realized though I could take the acting end of it mm-hmm. and mix that with the 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 action stuff, mm-hmm. and I could become a stunt actor. Yeah, and out of Walt Disney World, where I was the German mechanic. Yeah. And I got myself a German English dictionary. We do it full, full. With from Quincy, we do it hard. We don't play around. I turned around. I got myself a German English dictionary, and I went over to uh, the German pavilion at Epcot Center. Mm-hmm. And I, I asked the gentleman. I wrote the words I wanted to say, mm-hmm. and I said, "How would I say this in water? And how do I say this in?" I come out for my first show at Disney, and I said, "Erklar und Dijk waren gut, man. Fräulein, what the shot I mark? You're becoming fast now, Fräulein." Well, the stage man is like, where is that on this script? <laughs> and it worked. It's called you know? acting. <laughs> acting is called acting. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the inflection was strong. Uh-huh. I had German people as tourists coming up to me and saying, oh, hello. And they're speaking uh-huh. to me in full of German. All I know how to say to them was, get off my plane, red scarf. <laughs> that's red. right. That's it. And proud habit man, what are you doing? <laughs> Other than that, we're going to have much conversation. All right. But anyway. I continued with the with the commercial work mm-hmm. and the film work. Uh, well, Hulk Hogan down there. We did and Chris Lemon and Carol Alt. We did Thunder in Paradise. And I came back up to New York, and I just kept going with the mm-hmm. action end of it, mixing it mm-hmm. with the acting end of it. And I've had I've forged a strong acting resume. So now I have a lot of I play a lot of my own roles, mm-hmm. and I do my own action. So I am a stunt actor, mm-hmm. and I just kept kind of snowballing. Yeah. One, one thing leads to another. So um, do you have like a favorite job that you did, a favorite gig? I know that's kind of my tough. What? I, have ma- I have many, but uh, uh-huh. one, of, one of my favorites, people have asked me this before, and one of my favorites was um, uh, the David Letterman show. Mm-hmm. Uh, years ago, I was working on a film with John Goodman, stunt doubling him mm-hmm. uh, in a car chase. Mm-hmm. And turned around, and, and one of the coordinators was in the car, and I just happened. He goes, here, you want to sit with me and eat lunch? I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't know him. We sat down. His name was Don Hewitt. He said, have you ever worked on The Letterman Show? And I go, no, but I've seen the show. I like the show, watching it since I was a kid up in Boston. Okay. Like, sure, I love it. I'd always drop in a watermelon. It's the whole thing, all the crazy <laughs> Well, he said, would you like to work on it next week? He goes, I'd have to submit you, and they'd have to approve you and, and decide you've got the right look for this. But how are you were talking to people? So Quincy Boston, yeah, we're good. Right? <laughs> In event interviews, you will be able to do that, and they want you maybe to do some stair falls. Well, I went in. That was September fifteenth, nineteen ninety nine. Okay, mm-hmm. I went in there, and and they said they were going to make it a joke where I hyped it up. Where I was a real tough stunt guy, and I was going to fall down these stairs and really show what a tough guy. Well, I was going to get stuck on the first step. <laughs> no, David, Mister Letterman. He said, well, this guy's a real deal. He's a stuntman. He's an actor. You know, he, he's, he's fought his way up through the ranks and the acting end of it and the stuff. He goes, he deserves better than a joke or a one-nighter. Mm-hmm. He goes, get mm-hmm. me his head truck, Get me anything that has to do with wrestling. Anything he's got, to, any promotional stuff, bring it to me. Brought it to him. They go, Brian, change your plans. It's not a joke anymore. And Dave said he's going to give you the biggest push he's ever given anyone in his wow. life. That night was a real push on my career because I ended up being with them for 16 years mm. and I did probably 150, 170 shows somewhere in that range. Mm-hmm. No one does that with Letterman unless you're Biff Henderson or Rupert G or Pat and Kenny or, you know, the mm-hmm. regular people. Right. Who the show. So he gave me such a great push and um, it was always nice having a home base in New York city while I was going to do the other films or TV shows or commercials or, mm-hmm. um, 
I was doing fit modeling for Polo and Hilfiger, right? Wow. Doing a big oh, man. Oh, yeah. I was a model. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I got either one on. Okay. But anyway, um, that was one of my favorites. Right. Working the soul numbers were great. Um, just everything. Everything I've, I've, I've been fortunate enough and mm-hmm. been on it enough to been a, a lot of the opportunity to work on, mm-hmm. I've absolutely just – Appreciate well, it, and wonderful. I appreciate I appreciate this right now. Yeah. I appreciate the fact that I'm coming back to my hometown. Yeah, that's great. Well, you I mean, sound like you have so many stories, so many great stories. So oh, we are definitely man. looking forward to this event. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thrilled. Oh. Thrilled. Really Wonderful. Thrilled. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping in. I think that's about thank all the you. time we have. But yeah, um... I saw you looking. I saw you looking off camera. <laughs> I know. Subtle. I, I, get I saw you. <laughs> it's like when we do that. Right. They go. They're like, hello. hello. <laughs> I promise like, you, you'll have a lot more time to tell all your stories on September 23rd at seven o'clock, and uh, we okay. look forward to having you here at the main library. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, Quincy. Bye. Bye. I'll I'll be quiet now. Bye. (laughs)